Hey, this is Vince with Discount Inboard Marine. Today we're just going to do a quick little uh, video on how to uh, adjust a Holley carburetor. A couple of things you want to look for. Number one is uh, make sure the choke is adjusted properly. And you can see as I tap on that choke, it closes solidly every single time. You can loosen up three little screws here and rotate this whole housing and the choke you can actually open it and it'll stay open or you can adjust it where there's enough spring tension where it comes back and closes solidly every time. <clears throat> Once you know that your choke is adjusted properly you want to go ahead and start the engine let the engine warm up until that choke opens up all the way all by itself and then once it's open you want to look down the throat of the carburetor for any gas that's actually dripping you shouldn't see any it should be all atomized fuel so it looks almost like a mist and the same thing in the secondaries these are the venturis and that's where you look for the gas dripping or out of these uh, overflow tubes which would indicate a float problem <clears throat> Your adjustment screws are right here on the metering block. You've got one little screw on this side. You've got one little screw on the other side. And that's what we're going to do our adjustments with. Once the engine is started and it's running properly, uh, if you don't have a vacuum gauge, you can do it by ear. I've been doing it that way for a long time. And you just want to bring the engine to idle. Make sure your idle speed is around 700 RPM. And then you just slowly turn that little screw in until you hear the RPMs change a little bit. And then when you hear the change, open the screw back up counterclockwise, anywhere from three, I usually go three quarters to a full turn, and the engine idle evens out and it runs great. So we'll go ahead and do that and uh, go from there. As you can see, the choke is opened all the way. You want to clear any excess gas out of the uh, intake. And you can do that just by revving the engine up a little bit. And then you can make your adjustments. You can see that the drop in RPM is very, very subtle. you will hear it and then just open it back up and you should be adjusted hope this helps if you have any questions give us a call at discount inboard marine 803-345-0996 and i'm extension 3 thank you